गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू बैक टू अवर इंग्लिश ग्रामर सेशन स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड ऑन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेस वी कम टू नो अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हाउ टू ट्रांसफॉर्म सेंटेंसेस विदाउट चेंजिंग देयर मीनिंग लाइक हाउ टू चेंज अ डेक्लेटिव सेंटेंस टू एन इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंस एन एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेंस to a declarative sentence an imperative sentence to a declarative sentence a positive sentence to a negative sentence and a negative sentence to a positive sentence so students this was all about transformation of sentences so now let's come to the next topic that is question tags how to make question tags so first let me explain you what do you mean by question tags question tags are the short questions that we put at the end of the sentences these type of sentences are called tag questions so if you see these in this example she is polite up to this is a sentence okay so when i change when i write a short question for it when i attach a question tag to it then this complete sentence becomes a tag question okay this becomes a tag question so how it becomes a tag question she is polite comma isn't she so here isn't she is a question tag so if i repeat the sentence question tag are the short questions that we put at the end of the sentence so these are the short questions which i put at the end of the sentence and these type of sentences are called tag question along with the question tag when we write the sentence that complete sentence is known as tag questions okay now let's see what are the rules for tag questions see students when we write about this question tags these question tags are actually used to confirm whether something is true or not okay why we use these question tags so it confirms the speaker whether it is true or not sometimes they are also used by the speaker to emphasize what he or she is saying it is just for a confirmation for example she is polite isn't she so when we use isn't she this means we are confirming that whether she is polite or not okay so see what are the rules for tag questions how to make these tag questions with positive sentences if the sentence if the sentence if the sentence is a positive sentence then how we have to make tag questions if the main part of the sentence is positive the question tag is negative so if the main part of the sentence is positive then what will be the question tag it will be negative for example he is a teacher so this is the main part of the sentence 
he is a teacher so when we add question tag to it what we have to write isn't he if you see the helping verb that is is so with this be verbs we use the question tag we write the question tag and the though we have to write the question tag in negative because the sentence is in positive he is a teacher this means the sentence is positive so when we write a question tag at that time the question tag should be negative means we have to add not to the question tag that is instead of is not we can write isn't it is the contraction form of is not isn't he because he here is the subject so we have to write he similarly see another example that is they are good this is also a positive sentence the main part of the sentence is positive so when we add question tag to it here if you see the be verb is are they are good so with that verb only we have to make question tag are not or we can say aren't aren't they here they is the subject so we have to write they aren't they similarly when we change in a negative sentence if you see in a negative sentence in a negative sentence if the main part of the sentence if the main part of the sentence is negative the question tag is positive so first we read when the main part of the sentence is positive at that time the question tag is negative and now when the main part of the sentence is negative the question tag is positive so how you have not met him so here have not from this have not we can understand that the sentence is negative you have not met him the main part is in negative so when we write the question tag we have to write in positive form so here we don't have to use not so how we will write using that be verb that is have have you here we used have not and in the question tag we used have you similarly in the second sentence if you see she is not coming so this is a negative sentence she is not coming so when we write question tag is she because here the be verb is is and the subject is she so is she so let's see some more rules of tag questions with auxiliary verbs so if the question tag if there are auxiliary verbs in the main part of the sentence what we have to do how we have to write the question tag the question tag uses the same auxiliary verb that is have or be form of the verb as the main part of the sentence so if the main part of the sentence has the auxiliary verb then the question tag will also be in auxiliary uh, use the auxiliary verb like they have gone away for a vacation if you see here have is the auxiliary verb so when we know that when we change a positive when the main part of the sentence is in positive the question tag will be in negative so that's why we used the same auxiliary verb that is have and we added not to it okay so here we wrote haven't the contraction form of have not is haven't 
haven't they okay similarly in the second example if you see ram and sohan weren't here so here weren't means were not so here the auxiliary verb that is were so instead of this we can use that is uh, here it is used weren't and when we write the question tag at that time we have to use were they here we used were not and here we used were they because here they means ram and sohan so there are two persons so that's why we wrote the subject as they so here if you see were not this the main part of the sentence is in negative so when we write the question tag it should be in positive so we removed the not and we wrote where they next come to without auxiliary verbs without auxiliary verbs means if the main part of the sentence does not have an auxiliary verb the question tag uses an appropriate form of do so when the main part of the sentence does not have any auxiliary verb so how we have to make the question tag by using the appropriate form of do so appropriate form of do means for past tense we will use did and for present we will use does if the sentence is in past then we will use did and when the sentence is in present we will use does okay you broke that vase so you broke that vase here broke verb shows that the sentence is in past tense so for this the correct form of appropriate form of do will be did and though the sentence is in positive so when we write the question tag we wrote didn't you similarly he eats fish here the sentence is in present tense simple present so what will be the correct form of do here it will be does so though the main part of the sentence is in positive form when we write the question tag we wrote doesn't he then question tag will be in negative form so this is how we write the question tag let me give you some more examples like they couldn't hear me so here if you see couldn't hear me this means the main part of the sentence is in negative form so when we make a question tag it should be in positive so here we used could they similarly if uh, if you see the next example you won't tell anyone you won't means will not so here the main part of the sentence is in negative form so when we write the question tag we will write instead of will not we will write will you similarly we will have a good harvest will have the main part of the sentence is in positive so when we write the question tag we will write won't we here won't we won't means will not okay 
instead of will not we have to use the contraction form that is won't. So, we will have a good harvest. So, instead of uh, will, will we have to use won't we in the question tag. Now, the last one that is with I am when the question when the main part of the sentence starts with I am then the question tag for the sentence that starts with I am is aren't I ok if you see in the example I am the fastest so here though the sentence starts with I am so here the question tag will be aren't I similarly if the question if in the second example if you see I am late so here we have to write aren't I so when the question tag that is when the sentence starts with I am the question tag for the sentence that starts with I am is aren't I ok so this is how you have to make question tag that is when the sentence is when the main part of the sentence is positive the question tag will be negative first next next when the main part of the sentence is negative the question tag is positive next is when the question tag the question tag uses the same auxiliary verb have or be form of the verb as the main part of the sentence if the main part of the sentence has auxiliary verbs then the question tag will also use the auxiliary verb without auxiliary verb if the main part of the sentence does not have an auxiliary verb then the question tag uses an appropriate form of do and the last is when the main part of the sentence begins with the with I am then the question tag will be aren't I so students I hope you all understood transformation of sentences and how to make question tags. So, with this your lesson sentences has been completed. Thank you. And when the sentence is in present we will use does. Okay, you broke that vase. So, you broke that vase. Here, broke verb shows that the sentence is in past tense. So, for this, the correct form of appropriate form of do will be did. And though the sentence is in positive, so when we write the question tag, we wrote didn't you? Similarly, he eats fish. Here, the sentence is in present tense, simple present. So, what will be the correct form of do here? It will be does. So, though the main part of the sentence is in positive form, when we write the question tag, we wrote doesn't he? The question tag will be in negative form. So, this is how we write the question tag.
let me give you some more examples like they couldn't hear me so here if you see couldn't hear me this means the main part of the sentence is in negative form so when we make a question tag it should be in positive so here we used could they similarly if uh, if you see the next example you won't tell anyone you won't means will not so here the main part of the sentence is in negative form so when we write the question tag we will write instead of will not we will write will you similarly we will have a good harvest will have the main part of the sentence is in positive so when we write the question tag we will write won't we here won't we won't means will not okay instead of will not we have to use the contraction form that is won't so we will have a good harvest so instead of uh, now the last one that is with i am when the question when the main part of the sentence starts with i am then the question tag for the sentence that starts with i am is aren't i okay if you see in the example i am the fastest so here though the sentence starts with i am so here the question tag will be aren't i similarly if the question if in the second example if you see i am late so here we have to write aren't i so when the question tag that is when the sentence starts with i am the question tag for the sentence that starts with i am is aren't i okay so this is how you have to make question tag that is when the sentence is when the main part of the sentence is positive the question tag will be negative first next next when the main part of the sentence is negative the question tag is positive next is when the question tag the question tag uses the same auxiliary verb have or be form of the verb as the main part of the sentence if the main part of the sentence has auxiliary verbs then the question tag will also use the auxiliary verb without auxiliary verb if the main part of the sentence does not have an auxiliary verb then the question tag uses an appropriate form of do and the last is when the main part of the sentence begins with the with i am then the question tag will be aren't i so students i hope you all understood transformation of sentences and how to make question tags